In 1898, Thomson proposed a plum pudding model. According to Thomson, an atom possesses a spherical shape in which the positive charge is uniformly distributed. It was most widely accepted model all over the world for understanding the structure of an atom. However, several experiments performed by scientists to studying the atomic structure showed different results. They were contradict the plum pudding model. So, all over the world, many scientists to reconstruct the structure of atom and studied again. In 1911, British physicist Ernest Rutherford and his students Hans Geiger and Ernest Morstan carried out the world famous gold foil experiment. This is how the set of experiment look like. The source of alpha particle came out a very small opening and travel in a straight line. It was directed at a thin gold foil thickness of approximately 100 nanometer. The thin gold foil had a circular fluorescent zinc sulfide screen around it. Whenever alpha particles struck the screen, a tiny flash of light was produced at the point. The result of scattering experiment were quite unexpected. According to Thomson model of atom, the mass of each cold atom in the foil should have been spread evenly over the entire atom and alpha particles had enough energy to pass directly through such a uniform distribution of mass. It was observed that most of the alpha particle passed through the gold foil undeflected. A small fraction of the alpha particle was deflected by small angles. A very few alpha particles, approximately 1 in 20,000, bounded back, that is, were deflected by nearly 180 degree. On the basis of the observations, Rutherford drew the following conclusions regarding the structure of atom. Most of the space in the atom is empty as most of the alpha particle passed through the foil undeflected. A few positively charged alpha particles were deflected. The deflection must be due to enormous repulsive force showing that the positive charge of the atom is not spread throughout the atom as Thomson had perceived. Calculation by Rutherford showed that the volume occupied by the nucleus is negligibly small as compared to the total volume of the atom. The radius of the atom is about 10 power minus 10 meter while nucleus is 10 power minus 15 meter. One can appreciate this difference in size by realizing that if a cricket ball represent a nucleus, then the radius of atom would be about 5 km. On the basis of above observations and conclusions, Rutherford proposed the nuclear model of atom. According to this model, the positive charge and most of the masses of the atom was densely concentrated in extremely small region. This very small portion of the atom was called nucleus by Rutherford. The nucleus is surrounded by electrons that move around the nucleus with a very high speed and circular paths called orbits. Thus, Rutherford's model of atom resembles the solar system in which the nucleus play the role of the sun and the electrons that of revolving planets. Electrons and the nucleus are held together by electrostatic force of attraction. Thank you for watching this video.